If a fan theory is correct, Stranger Things Season 4 might premiere on Netflix in July. A surfer boy pizza truck skids off-road for a split second in the latest teaser trailer, which was released back in September, with the company's contact number displayed. Fans are greatly speculating what this could mean, and that we are in store for a 2022 debut of the highly anticipated fourth season of Stranger Things. Stay around for all the details surrounding the Season 4 release date, along with the other important Stranger Things details. You don't want to miss this. Stranger Stranger Things fans suspect they know the release date for Season 4. Stranger Things fans may have discovered a significant clue about when the show will return, and the notion fits with Netflix's history of massive launches. So far, not much is known about the new season of Netflix's Stranger Things, other than a few teaser trailers and some vague updates from the cast. Due to the COVID-19 epidemic, the sci-fi series, which remains one of the most popular titles on the streaming site, has had a number of unforeseen filming and production problems, and viewers are growing impatient. Many of them have engaged in a careful quest for signs that could indicate something vital about the show's fourth season in order to quell their anxiousness. It appears that their diligence paid off, as recent reports suggest that they may have discovered important information during their hunt. There was a possible indication in one moment of the latest Stranger Things teaser trailer, which was released last fall, that eagle-eyed viewers recognized. For a single second, a Surfer Boy pizza vehicle slid off the road, and the company's phone number was displayed as 805-45-PIZZA. Fans attempted to phone the number themselves and were successful. Some individuals on Reddit reported hearing a happy birthday jingle, and one user speculated that it might be related to the third season episode, The Birthday. However, it's difficult to say whether anything in that episode genuinely hints at the release date of the following season. The song's connection to the show's anniversary is a more credible theory. If this is the case, the fourth season might be published on July 15th, the same day as the series premiere. This theory is reinforced by the fact that July 15th falls on a Friday this year, and Netflix has a history of releasing blockbuster shows on Fridays. Finn Wolfhard and Gaten Matarazzo, among others, have spoken out about the new season, stating that it will be the show's darkest and most horrific ever. It's unknown how the tale will continue from where it left off right now, but based on the teaser trailers, fans should expect another epic adventure for the Hawkins kids. Eleven's long-lost siblings and adoptive father might be the focus of the entire season, with snippets of more laboratory-raised kids and Jim Hopper alive in Russia. Now, this is all simply speculation, but it is a very plausible theory and one that fans are very set on. Surely the production team will announce the season 4 debut and there's a strong chance it will be in July. Yay for Stranger Things fans! Who is returning for season 4 of Stranger Things? So, another big question, who will be returning to the cast of season 4 and will there be any new additions? Well, it is suspect that all the main characters will come back including Eleven, played by Millie Bobby Brown, Mike, by Finn Wolfhard, Dustin, by Gaten Matarazzo, Lucas, by Caleb McLaughlin, Will by Noah Schnapp, Steve by Joe Keery, Max played by Sadie Sink, Nancy by Natalia Dyer, Jonathan by Charlie Heaton, Robin by Maya Hawk, and Joyce by Winona Ryder. The show just wouldn't be the same without these key cast members, that's for sure. Despite the allegedly catastrophic finale to season three, we now know that David Harbour will reprise his role as Hopper. In an interview with Total Film, Harbour said about his character, we'll see a very different guy going forwards, adding that he had to evolve and resurrect in some way. He's the same guy, but this time, he's acting in a different way. Being able to play is a fantastic experience. While it's currently unknown how his character managed to survive, Harbour has stated that Season 4 would reveal more of his past, and a nod to Season 2, when Eleven discovered boxes labeled Dad, Vietnam, and New York in Hopper's attic. In addition, Stranger Things' official Twitter account also stated that the famous show will welcome some new faces for Season 4, including stars from the CW's Black Lightning and Netflix's Anne with an E. Let's take a look at all the new faces and who they'll be portraying on the show. Miles Truett will play Hawkins basketball player Patrick, whose life will spiral out of control after some shattering incidents, while Amy Beth McNulty will play Vicky, who is labeled as a cool band nerd who instantly catches the eye of one of our other cherished characters. Victor Creel, a disturbed and imposing man who is imprisoned in a psychiatric facility, will be played by Robert England, aka the most 80s of wisecracking serial killer burn victims, Freddy Krueger. Tom Vlaskova, or Jack and Hagar of Game of Thrones fame, plays Dimitri, a smart and affable Russian jail guard. Jason Carver, played by Mason Dye from Teen Wolf, is an attractive, wealthy athlete who is dating the most popular girl in school. Peter Ballard, a compassionate man who works as an orderly at a psychiatric hospital, is Jamie Campbell Bauer from The Twilight Saga. And finally, Argyle is played by Eduardo Franco of Booksmart, who describes himself as a fun-loving stoner pizza delivery kid and Jonathan's new 
best friend. There are other new additions to the cast, but we would be here for a while if we were to name them all. This season's already set to be a big one, especially with so many new cast members joining. There is surely something huge in store. Are there any trailers for season four? We are happy to report that there are, in fact, multiple teasers. The most recent trailer was published on August 6th. That includes footage from the first three seasons, as well as peaks of season four. There's a weird clock, Eleven rocking a new hairstyle while she is being held back by suited men, and a shaved Jim Hopper wielding a flamethrower in the teaser. Eleven's narrative for the upcoming season was teased in an earlier trailer released in May. A sequence of clips showing children being tested in Dr. Brenner's lab are shown. During the first season, he was the manipulative director of a research institute that coerced Millie Bobby Brown's Eleven to participate in his mind control experiments. Dr. Brenner, played by Matthew Modine, looked to have been slain by the Demogorgon in season one. But in season two, an orderly informed Eleven and Callie, played by Linnea Berthelsen, that he was still alive. The footage from this trailer is almost surely a flashback or dream sequence as the end frame pans to Eleven's face while Brenner asks, Eleven, are you listening? Unfortunately, they don't give too much away with these teasers, but it gives us a slight idea of what could be to come. Now let's dive into season four Stranger Things fan theories. Hopper actually traveled back in time. Consider this for a second. Hopper's death was never seen on film. Thus, it's plausible to assume that Hopper ended up in the Upside Down and returned at the conclusion of season three in a different time period. Netflix has subsequently released more clips from the 1950s era, including a season four teaser that shows a newspaper with the date March 1959 printed on it, but that's not the only evidence that time travel is involved. Back to the Future was mentioned in season three, according to a Reddit user. Remember when Dustin and his buddy snuck into a full cinema for the premiere of the film? In addition, in his impassioned letter to Eleven, Hopper emphasized wishing to turn back the time. So it's likely that these scenes revealed a lot more than we thought. Netflix will include the real-life Chernobyl nuclear disaster. The second popular fan theory is that Stranger Things Season 4 will incorporate the real-life Chernobyl nuclear disaster. It'd be a risky move, but given the series' date, the Chernobyl tragedy is likely to be linked to the upside-down research, either as an unintended consequence or as a cover-up to divert everyone's attention. The first three seasons, as one Reddit member pointed out, took place in 1983, 1984, and 1985 respectively. Season 4 will most likely take place in 1986, the same year as the Chernobyl disaster, one of the world's worst nuclear power plant disasters. Eleven will eventually pass away in Season 4. Finally, many fans have been speculating that this could be the end for Eleven this season. When Eleven regains her powers in Season 4, she'll face a slew of new challenges, but something tells us she'll have to sacrifice her life to save everyone she cares about. Maybe it'll be a showdown with the Shadow Monster, or maybe it'll be when she finally closes the Upside Down's gate for good. This would be the ultimate sacrifice and would give Eleven a Tony Stark-like send-off, one Reddit member explained. It would be the ideal method for her to leave her mark. She'll go from being the girl who opened the gate and set everything in motion to being the girl who shut the gate and destroyed the beast she unintentionally released. And there you have it, everything you need to know about Stranger Things Season 4 and some clues that could hint towards its release date, and we don't have that long to go if it's true. Fingers crossed. Thanks for watching.